In Sabanoa. In Sabanoa. Hey there guys, how are you? Don't get scared. That's usually what I do at 3 o'clock in the morning anyway. That's what happens when you drink too much Mountain Dew. Okay, now let's talk about the after credits scene in X-Men Days of Future Past. So if you're like me, you're setting in X-Men Days of Future Past, the movie's over, the end credits start rolling, you know, nine minutes later you're still sitting there and you heard the rumors, you're like, yeah, there's gonna be an after credit scene. So you sit there patiently, just waiting, taking that one last drink, that warm soda that's been sitting there for two hours. You know what I'm talking about. And all of a sudden, you hear these eerie chants, in Sabana. In Sabana, the camera slowly pans up to the sandy hilltop. And on top of the hill, there's a figure wearing a robe, and he's doing all these crazy badass things with these pyramids in the background. And in front of this figure, essentially a group of slaves worshiping him because he is a god to them. And hell, I mean, if I was there too, he'd be a god to me. Any guy who can move a pyramid around, I'm like, okay, cool, man. I respect you. Just. Don't kill me. And then the camera slowly pans around. You get your first look at this godlike figure. And it kind of, at first glance, kind of resembled like one of the characters in Twilight. Except not as sparkly and a little bit more blue rather than pasty. And that is our introduction to the character Apocalypse. One of the biggest badasses in the Marvel Universe. And by the way, if you look very closely in the background right here, you can see the four horsemen of the Apocalypse. Hey, I know what you're thinking. Why did the camera just cut to this weird obtuse Dutch angle? Well, I'll explain myself. It's three hours after I shot the video. I'm editing it right now, and I realized I forgot to say something. So rather than set my camera back on a tripod, I'm a little bit too lazy. I'm eating potato chips and drinking a Gatorade at 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm willing to bet my 2001 shitty Ford Contour that has rust on it that that will not be the final version of Apocalypse. Now, I didn't just make this video to talk about the post credit scene in X-Men Days of Future Past. I wanted to give you guys my in-depth thoughts, maybe where they're going with the X-Men Apocalypse movie, maybe what's going to go down, what characters we're going to see, and things I want to see happen in that movie. So let's talk about that now. X-Men Apocalypse, the movie comes out in 2016. I can't wait to see it. Now, judging by the quality of X-Men Days of Future Past, directed by Brian Singer, who's returning for X-Men Apocalypse, I can only imagine if they keep that same level of quality, this should be one of the best comic book movies ever made. So what might possibly go down in the next X-Men movie? Well, according to the source material, the pre-established stuff, it's called comic books. Yeah, that's where they're getting all this shit from. X-Men Apocalypse will take place in the 1980s. Now, I've said this a long time ago. I don't remember which video I said it in. I was too lazy to look it up. I said I wanted to see a 1980s X-Men movie, and in my head, I thought they'd just reboot the entire franchise to take place in the 1980s. But to me, this is one of the coolest time periods ever. Why? I don't know. Michael Jackson was on top of his game, and you could wear piano neckties. Now, here's why I'm most excited about this 1980s X-Men movie. First of all, you're gonna have Apocalypse in it, okay? That's gonna be an epic showdown. But other than that, you get to utilize the younger cast of X-Men movies once again. You get to see Michael Fassbender return as Magneto, James McAvoy return as Charles Xavier. Yeah, I kind of like seeing the younger version of the X-Men up on the big screen. I just like seeing a younger Magneto. You know, Ian McKellen, he's a great actor, but I like not seeing a, you know, a 95-year-old looking Magneto up on the big screen. And that's not to take anything away from Gandalf. I respect the man. But Michael Fassbender's Magneto, I just buy into him a little bit more. Now, what other young X-Men characters might we see in Apocalypse? Well, judging by the comic book, you're probably going to see a young Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey, and if you guys didn't already know, Channing Tatum was cast as Gambit a few weeks back, which is interesting in itself. And I would say there's a very good chance you're going to see Channing Tatum in X-Men Apocalypse, or at least in my opinion. A few other X-Men characters you might see in the movie are Nightcrawler and Quicksilver. And that's coming from Brian Singer, the director of the movie. He said he'd like to utilize both characters in that upcoming movie. And last but certainly not least, I'm willing to bet that Wolverine does show up in this movie. Why might you ask? Money. Wolverine makes a lot of money, people, so the producers of this movie are going to be like, yeah, shoehorn him in there. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I don't really mind. I'm a fan of Wolverine. I like Hugh Jackman. And the guy doesn't age, so you can put him in that movie in a different time period once again, and it does essentially make sense. And if we're still judging this movie by the comic book source material, for the first time ever up on the big screen, you might get to see Cable. And you know which actor I would like to see play the character of Cable? Stephen Lang. You know, the bad guy from Avatar? Yeah, ever since I watched that movie in the theater in 2010, he was working out, he was all buffed. He looks like the real life version of Cable. Now here's the part of the video where the fanboy inside of me just speculates in hopes. And you guys get to hear those hopes and dreams of a young fanboy of X-Men. And here's what I want to see. Since this movie does take place in the 1980s, shit was a little bit weird back then. People could wear whatever they wanted, like parachute pants. Give the X-Men their costumes for the first time ever. Find some way to give them their costumes. That's all I want to see. You know, I don't want to see them walking around in leather jumpsuits anymore. Give Wolverine his damn mask. Just for one scene in the movie, find a reason. If he's in the movie, give him a mask. I don't know why he wears it, 
but just put it on them. Because since this movie does take place in the 80s, that is the only time period in history where you could get away with wearing tight, leather, spandexy shit. So it would kind of make sense. Now, I'm not saying slap spandex on all the characters, but just, you know, give them an outfit that looks or relates to the comic books. So X-Men Apocalypse, it's looking to be one of the coolest comic book movies ever made. Or at least I hope it is. It comes out May 27th, 2016. And by the way, on a side note, if you did see X-Men Days of Future Past and you've seen the very ending to that movie, you kind of sort of know who are going to survive X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, but there might be a few surprises along the way. I just can't wait to see it up on the big screen. That's my take on the movie. That's what I want to see. Now here's my question to you guys, and let me know down below. What do you think is going to go down in X-Men Apocalypse? And which comic book characters from the X-Men do you want to see in the movie? So guys, thanks for watching. My name's John. This is the Flick Pick Channel. If you haven't subscribed, do so, and I'll see you guys next time.